a quick intro. So welcome, come on adventure with me as we make this headboard for my bed. Hey guys, so um, I'm out here doing some arts and crafts and today we're gonna make a headboard. So the last video you saw me uh, make a weight room or weight set out of cardboard. Today we're gonna make a headboard but uh, we're gonna make it um, YouTube style. So it's gonna pertain to my YouTube videos and um, make it camo with these two colors and hopefully decorate it. Because right now it's just a piece of cardboard. A piece of cardboard. Um, it fits perfectly around my bed. A uh, few concerns is getting paint on my sheets so I'll have to watch that. And, um, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna customize this and, uh, hope you come along with me. So, there's so many avenues that you can go towards. Um, what we've done so far is this. I thought about, um, painting the outside corners a dark color. And if I did go over the inside with a light color, that look better or I could have done the opposite and you found the exact center using this machete two machetes on each side and there's a few inches in between that's about the exact center of the board so that's also important if we want to put words on it so um, maybe once we go inside we'll take a sharpie and we'll make put words on it so I think that's the plan okay so a few pointers with this spray can right so it's not a very like wide radius as you can see it shoots um, very in fact I think this is almost out very it shoots a little circle like this right it's not very spread out is what I'm trying to say and it's not very even it's just a little very concentrated circle when it comes out Probably because that it is a circle. Maybe if I had a different nozzle on it, it would, um, in fact, shoot more evenly and um, be more even. That looks dumb. But yeah, this is what we have. We did dark on top, light on the bottom. Dark on top, layer on bottom. Kind of like it so far. I kind of like the, you know, it's not so perfect, you know, feeling. I think it's a good look. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. You can put about two machetes. I would call this a machete because of the way I use it. Normally, it's a bread knife. The way I use it to not not I don't use bread on it, so it's more of a machete. That looks like a machete too. So, I finished this up. Found the center again. So that's the one, two, three, that's the middle. Okay, so what we did was we found the middle of the word. As well as you can see my other YouTube ideas. The middle of the word um, I think we're gonna make it black, perhaps. So, what we found out is that the N and the G should be in the middle. How many inches? So how long should each letter be? I'm trying to determine how big the uh, letter should be so that it's consistent. And my idea is that I'd say this is a good measurement of how long each word should be. Each letter, the width of it. It's about this big. Each one, each letter is going to be this big. And we have 12 letters. 
six on each side of the middle is my goal. So, and this is the headboard of my bed, 85% complete. I have my YouTube channel on it. It's pretty good. And there it is, filled in with the dark, the dark paint. And this is the finished project. I, I thought I would add some branches to it. Give it a good look, I think. It's a good combination. Some live branches and power cardboard, and I think we're gonna hang it up. It's pretty good, I think. Might go over that again. So that you can pops out more but uh yeah you'll see it in where it's supposed to be next time what the headboard looks like um do a quick intro so welcome come on adventure with me as we make this headboard for my bed